doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs and besties. Today's backdrop comes from one of our LOL surprise OMG videos. I don't think I did a tutorial, I just kind of made it. Does it match today's theme? No, but are we using it anyway? Yes. Today we are comparing a few products, Barbie versus OMG. I bought the LOL surprise OMG house of surprises to go diner playset on Amazon for $49.99. I bought the Barbie Cook and Grill restaurant a while back. It's been sitting in my storage unit waiting for some attention, but it is on Amazon and at Target right now for $49.99. So here are two play sets, both around $50 with a restaurant theme. With the Barbie play set, we get a fold and go doll room that expands to two and a half feet. It's already assembled pretty much out of the box. Just set the countertop in front, a couple of stools, add a table and a chair, and the other accessories like faux lights, a register, at a little to-go window. That's pretty cool. We did something similar in one of our cereal box rooms, but we didn't have that little table. That's neat. A little refrigerator, there are stickers for the oven and cake. There's a pot where we can cook pasta, a display with tables that turn where we can showcase the available desserts, painted flowers for the table, paperboard menus, a pizza paddle or a pizza peel with little pizzas to go on top. There are two pizzas. The kitchen area has a little pizza oven with a piece that can slide out. <laughs> Oops, that was not graceful. There's a sponge on it where we can add water, place it back in the oven. Then we can take our pizza, place it inside, then lower the stamp. Uh-oh, make sure it's centered. There we go, press down. Lift up and remove the pizza. Oh cool, it changed. Okay, so we have some color change elements here and it looks like the cheese has been melted and the pizza is now cooked. Let's place it right here. Oops, almost missed the plate. And give the other pizza a try. It's in the oven. Then we're gonna press down, lift up, and it changed. The water didn't need to be hot or cold. It was just water. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of water play with my dolls. It just gets everywhere and makes a mess. But this was pretty neat. The sponge keeps it all in one spot and we didn't have to bother with the whole hot and cold thing. The grill has a flip feature to go from raw food to, ugh, there we go, cooked food. Oh. And as the pizza dries, it goes back to being uncooked. We have some realistic printables on the back wall, a bowl of salad and a green plate. Wait, I think that's a lid. We have silverware, a plate of spaghetti, a beverage dispenser. The top is removable and you can see lemons and ice. There's a little pizza box that we can put together that can be constructed without any glue or tape. It does close and we can put a pizza inside. However, when it's wet, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that, but I love these little details. So here we have our cooking area, an eating area, another eating area and a drive through window. If we turn it around, we can set it up as an outdoor eating area. There's a menu on the side, a window that allows us to see inside the restaurant. It's a printed backdrop, but it looks pretty cool. There's a counter right here, some more printed details, a real window, a picture of a charging station and a bike rack. We can bring the table and chair set from the other side. So our customers have plenty of places to sit and there are lots of little Barbie signs up top. This playset doesn't come with a doll, and personally, I don't think it needs one. It's a large playset with a lot of different areas. It's flexible enough that we can make it a corner room or stretch it out if we have the space. 
and play with a doll that we already have. It's pretty tall. It has a nice height over the doll, which in my opinion is a good thing. However, the height could make it a little more challenging to store, but it does fold up. The new OMG To Go Diner also has color change food and drinks. Oh wow, the packaging inside the box is adorable. I love the back wall. Ah, there's a bunch of cuts in it. Respect the box art, man. Out of the box, this playset does come with a doll. And I just looked online and some of the Barbie playsets do come with a doll. I've had mine for a while, so maybe they've put out different ones. But I'm still okay with not having the doll because I'm pretty sure she has the basic five points of articulation and printed fashion. This doll, on the other hand, how do I say this, is a plus? Not saying that the Barbie isn't a plus. You know, I love Barbie, but that particular doll is kind of basic. Whereas this OMG doll is what we're used to seeing from the line. She has articulation at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist. She can move at the hip and has a bend and snap or click knee. She comes with a doll stand, has long hair with a little curl on the end, a fabric hair accessory, earrings that dangle, one's a fork and one's a spoon. They are removable. She has a necklace, painted nails. She wears a black and white shirt. Check out the trim around the neckline. It is actually there. She has a black and white skirt, more trim, loving those details. Then it's pink and silver on the bottom. This is an apron, it's denim. It's not laying down as well as I would like it to. And I think we have a pocket. Yep, a working pocket. And that is actually stitched on. I think it's DL for delish, I think. The apron is removable. That's pretty cute, in my opinion, of course. She has on stockings and a pair of heels. The to-go diner is a cart. There's a paper menu on the side, totally making me think of Save by the Bell. This says Coolomatic. Uh-oh, that's not in there. All better. All right, so here is the Coolomatic, which I'm thinking is like a refrigerator. There's a shelf in here. Is it removable? Yep, but you can remove it. My bad, it's just the cool matic. I'm over here adding letters. This is the bake matic. It does open. It's supposed to be like a little oven. And there are UV lights in there. The on switch is over here on the side. Important information. Do not look directly into the UV lights. Always close the oven door before turning on the UV light and keep moisture away from the battery compartment and areas with the UV light. This playset does have water play, so... And it goes on. Personally, now this is just a personal preference, I don't plan on using the UV light. I have my reasons and I'm gonna leave it at that. Which also means I won't be able to see some of the color change elements of this playset. But according to the box, we can add grill lines to the burgers and bake the pie. There is a grill on top a handle on the side. Here is a little holder. It is removable, but we can use it to hold the register tablet. There's a little counter that can be lifted. There is another counter on the other side. This expands. There's a paperboard box for the cherry pie. Three shelves for storage. Here is a drink dispenser. It can be removed. We can remove the top and fill it with water. Then I place it in my freezer. While we are waiting for that to turn into ice, let's check out some of the other features. We have a little fryer set up here. It requires warm water. It is right over the UV light, so we have to be careful. I put warm water in the fryer, the fries in the basket, and then the basket into the water. Lift them out of the water and they changed colors. You can see what the before color was right there. We have some tongs here and a patty. We can place it on the grill and push down to activate the UV light. Take one of the heart-shaped buns on the plate, place the burger on top, 
followed by cheese, lettuce, tomato, and a bun. To make a heart cheeseburger, we can make two. We have ketchup and mustard. There's a spot on the counter for them. This playset comes with paperboard baskets. However, the packaging does kind of, you know, damage them a little. They have a little tissue paper in them, which I think is pretty neat. Dry off the fries and place them inside. Store the brush and spatulas on the front. We have a hairbrush and a sign that says delish. It's removable so we can turn it around when the diner is closed. Our ice cubes are now ready so we can put them in the drink dispenser. Come on, there we go. Oh yeah, we have miniature ice cubes that we can also place in the cups. Carefully add water to the drink dispenser, place the cup underneath, and then if we just move that, we should see water come out. Yeah, it's over there, it's pouring out. Oops, oops, nope, nope. The cups are supposed to change color with cold water. I don't think mine is cold enough, and I'm just making a mess. I added a little ice and it's kind of turning pink. There's a little cup tray and a pitcher, which I really like. The doll's apron turns into a little jacket and she comes with a purse. I think this playset is pretty cute. It totally falls in line with the rest of the OMG brand. The cold and hot water, the UV lights, that's all a little much for me. But I like the action of assembling the burgers. I do think the pole in the middle, eh, it doesn't look super great, but I understand why it's there. The drink dispenser can easily make a mess, but the expandable storage is pretty cool. And I like the little cool matic. The doll is adorable, love her look, no complaints there. My apron is a little awkward, but I like this look better anyway. This playset is a cart, so it doesn't take up a lot of space. However, some of the rules around the UV light and the water play may be a little challenging for younger collectors. If you're looking for something a little smaller and less expensive, here is the Barbie Life in the City Cafe playset. Priced at $19.99, it's a pretty standard Barbie kiosk with an awning that says Barbie, shelves on the side with printed pictures, a counter with a register, and shelving underneath. There is a printed menu, we get a coffee cup, a muffin or a cupcake, a croissant, and a pretzel. There is a dog with a leash, the collar is a little large, and the dog has a small coffee cup, however, it can't really hold it, can it? There is a doll included with this playset. It is a petite Barbie, which is pretty smart because she can stand behind it and we can still see her. Oh, and the sign can turn from open to closed. The doll comes with curly hair, wears a fruit themed top with a tie in the front and a skirt with printed details. They are two separate pieces and open in the back. And she wears sandals. This doll is a decent match for the Barbie Looks doll if you're looking to do a body swap. Here is a classic Barbie next to the playset for height. For the most part, this is a pretty standard $20 Barbie playset. Personally, I feel like the Barbie Cook and Grill restaurant gives us the most for our money. It's a complete scene and it folds up for easy storage. And for me, the water play was neater. I just looked online at Walmart and currently the playset without the doll is on sale for $37.45. The Barbie Life in the City playset feels pretty standard. It takes up the least amount of space and the doll could be fun for a head swap. The OMG playset is fun and colorful. I like to see that the OMG dolls are getting more playsets. The exclusive doll is cute in my opinion but I could do without some of the color changing elements. Let us know which ones caught your eye in the comments down below. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at different doll, diner, cafe, and restaurant playsets. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.